Hey guys, it's me, Sean, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite plugins for WordPress and Joomla for creating playlists on YouTube. And the plugin is the S Horizon YouTube Gallery. So let's go ahead and go to the plugins, get that. And what this plugin is going to do is allow you to pull in. If you have the paid version, it's going to allow you to pull in playlists from your YouTube channel. If you don't have the paid version and only the free version, it will still allow you to pull in all of your videos from your YouTube channel and lay them out in a nice way so that people can go through all of the videos and you can set how many show per page, how many pages, how many in a row, all that different stuff. So let's go ahead and search for the plugin. And there we go, the S Rise and Responsive YouTube album. And then of course the responses, so it will resize to fit the screen, which is always a good thing. You always want to have responsive videos and responsive plugins that are going to be able to work on your responsive template. And let's go down here and you see it's been installed here and then we have this little red icon over here that says YouTube album. So we're going to go here and go to YouTube album and we're going to have to create a new album. And let's see. Okay, maybe it's in albums. Okay, yeah, it's kind of hidden on this one. It's right up here next to the text and above this, but <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and add new. And then we're going to have the YouTube username channel goes in here. Um, I'm just going to use my name. And if you've given your URL a specific URL with a name, you can do this too if you wanted to pull in the full channel. And you can give your album a title as well. And on the paid version, you will have an extra option and you wouldn't really want to do this. You would want to pull in by playlist and you'll be able to do multiple playlists per page. And this will give you a short code and then you put the short code on the page and the short code will create the video layout list. So yeah. Use value above as username and fetch user uploads, YouTube username, fetch users favorites, username and fetch users subscribed videos. And then it says right here on Pro, you can add YouTube playlists as well on the Pro. And the Pro is only like $30, but it's worth it because I've used this plugin on multiple sites and this plugin works great, looks great, and it's just an awesome plugin. Total number of videos on the free version, you can only show 25 per page. On the pro version, you'll be able to show as many as you like. Uh, they will line up in rows of however many you choose. You see right here the thumb grid layout. We have one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows. And that's how many videos it's going to show in a row. And then you have the small display responsive theme one row, two row, three rows. Uh, you're going to want to leave it one for responsive because it's going to show one under the other, under the other, under the other. You wouldn't want to do like two or three in a row on a cell phone because that's going to look really small and that's going to be kind of difficult to navigate through and click on. Then we have our thumb padding. How much padding do we want in between each image? And you can change this. Uh, show title below thumbnail, yes or no. 
If you choose no, it'll show above. If you choose yes, it'll show below. The title box height, how high you want the title box. Uh, corner rounding, how much rounding do you want on the corners. Thumbnail shadow, how much shadow do you want on the boxes. And then we have the uh, description ratio, which is how many characters do you want the description to be. Okay, so we have all that in. We have this in, so that should work. Now let's go ahead and save our album. And then now we're actually going to go from albums into YouTube album, and it should show us the short code. Okay, where's our album? Okay, so now you see we have this short code here, and it gives us this S Ryzen table album ID equals one. Now we're just going to copy this. And then we're going to go over into add new page. And then we're going to add this to the page. And with playlists, you should be able to add new drop downs so that each playlist is its own playlist. So that, let's say you have tons of videos, you could make a ton of different pages for specific different videos, which will allow you to display only certain playlists per page or on a page. And let's go ahead and label this demo one and preview. And now you see we get this nice little layout here with these on the page but it looks like I need more padding you may need more padding too if you see this happen where it comes down and underneath like that because the boxes are only set to a certain height in this case you're gonna want to go back and set the height higher and the padding higher so that it gives it more padding on the bottom and it makes the boxes higher so that the text can fit in the bottom but I'm going to go ahead and show you how these work now because it will bring up a light box pop-up screen, which is really nice because it just pops up this nice little screen here. And then you guys see that that works there that way. And then also, um, I don't believe that the free version has it, but the pro version has another way to lay it out as well. The pro version will have a larger image up here at the top and you will be able to have these rows like this and then have arrows on the side to click through and it will scroll through and then whenever you click one of these videos the top video will change to that video.